Yeah. So we are a specialty food store. Yeah. We are known for our popcorns. That's what yeah. people usually come looking for. We make yeah. those. We make all the chocolate treats. A lot of seasonal things like caramel apples and peanut brittle and such. Uh, we do do a lot of gifts. Like we will custom make gifts for you. Um, the thing I think we're known most for is our caramel corn. We serve a corn and we make it fresh every day. Um, some of my favorite things are things that are local. So that's our honey, which um, comes from Goshen. The maple syrup, which comes from Morrow. It's maple trees right in Morrow. Uh, the jams and jellies are made in Lebanon, and the coffees are made in Westchester. And a lot of this local, when you start with one local product, they talk to you about somebody else that they know. It's sort of like a networking right. where you find more and more of it. So, yeah. And then what other things we buy, we try and buy from small businesses, women-owned businesses, family-owned businesses from across the country. So we've got stuff east coast, west coast, north and south. Uh, two and a half years here. Mm -hmm. And 15 years all together. We, we took our business from Mason, which we were there for 13 years, wanted to expand, and looked at Loveland to be the place to expand it. Great. Mm -hmm. So would, would you say you get a lot of traffic and such from the trail? That is seasonal also. Like, it's cold, there's not a lot of people out there right now, but when the weather is nice, yes, the trail yeah. is very busy. Yeah, lots, lots of families. Mm -hmm. A lot of trail side provisions. Yes. Well, the other thing, too, our window there, that helps with the trail. During uh, the summer, the spring, summer, fall, um, we make sandwiches every day. We have chips and things like lemonade and iced tea. So that those are on the, the walkers, the bikers, the families can stop in and get like a little picnic lunch and sit out and eat. We're family owned. My husband, okay. myself, the two boys. Yes. Okay, so but I'm the okay. one that's here most of the time. Yeah. So, uh, why, did we, why did you originally start Trailside Division? So I've always been in the food business. I was a caterer, grew up in my family's butcher shop. Just we were looking for something that there wasn't. There was not a popcorn shop. There wasn't a chocolate shop at Mason. So that's where we started. And then we just kept it. How would you say uh, business was affected by the COVID-19? It hit us a little differently because we had only been open two months before it hit. <laughs> so we were open for two months and then closed down. But Loveland being Loveland, um, we did Facebook business. We just posted products weekly, daily, um, especially around Easter. We made Easter baskets and things, so people would call in orders or Facebook orders, and then we had a pickup day on Fridays and Saturdays, and our landlord gave us a couple spots out here so they could pull in. They'd already paid by credit card over the phone. They'd call us, and we took their order out, so we delivered to their cars. So we were able to keep business going. When, did, when were you able to open up the store again? How long ago was that? Oh, um, okay, so we were closed, what, um, part of February, March, April, May. We opened up by the end of May, uh, coming out of COVID, when they allowed their businesses to reopen. Yeah. But Easter's coming, so that's what I'm in the back, actually, working on Easter chocolates. <laughs> <laughs>